drone technology is advancing at a very rapid pace. And the next generation will have the ability to transform and perform previously unattainable tasks. Many different components add up to this ability, including swarm integration, along with reinforcement learning. However, the Faluro T is probably one of the most underrated drones right now, and it does indeed give us a glimpse of the future. It can tilt 90 degrees to allow interaction in any orientation with thrust vectoring. So the propellers can tilt for 6 degrees of freedom. It can carry payloads up to several pounds and utilize tools for detecting corroded surfaces. It does exemplify that she can perform higher tasks with greater maneuverability, but it also might be possible to act as a modular unit, maybe even combining with other drones to form complex aerial vehicles. We will definitely get into that in a little bit. But one of the vital keys to all of this is omnidirectional control. This means that it would be able to have control in all directions. Like the Valero, you still need a tilt rotor or even a shape-shifting body. And theoretically, this would be able to outmaneuver any normal drone on the market. ETH first experimented with these crafts several years ago, with two separate controllers to compensate for the frame shifting. More recent developments include tilt bow forms, which can integrate perching. For now, a single-use drone seems to be fairly straightforward. But when you start combining other drones together to perform tasks, well, things get a little bit more complicated. ModLab first presented the Gripper several years ago, which was comprised of four different drones with one degree of freedom. This was a great idea, but it was limited in the sense that it was not overly efficient, and the control unit was not coordinating in three dimensions. Several years later, and the Dragon drone emerged. This revealed a different, more complex multi-linked robot with a multi-degree of freedom. So it could morph and manipulate objects, but its energy requirements were dramatically increased. Several modules would be required to lift more than others, and this led to a limited flight time of around 5 minutes. Now this could change with advances in battery technology, but an optimization algorithm is definitely needed to control this type of aerial vehicle. The Project Trady has shed some light on how to do that by going back to assembly drones. And this robot can autonomously assemble and then morph to deliver a higher torque when compared to a single unit. It can join with a magnetic switching mechanism, but it's still not omnidirectional. The advantage to using modular drones is that the individual drone's performance is not hindered when separated. So you can kind of get the best of both worlds with added performance along with individual longevity. The team definitely recognizes the capability of the system, and they do plan to increase the robot's controllability, maybe even add more degrees of freedom, so we can see something like the Dragon Drone that is comprised of individual units. The question still remains on how we can actually design a control system for a complex flying robotic platform. We actually do have an answer to this, as several terrain robots are already implementing reinforcement learning. With modern simulation tools, robots like the MIT Cheetah can accumulate 100 days of experience within a couple hours of time. This gets rid of intense programming and the robot starts to learn on its own. As of right now, there are a few drones which have reinforcement learning along with model predictive control. Once again, this would collect data in the real world and then combine this with lessons learned in a simulation. The end result are autonomous robots which can outperform some of the best human pilots. In the future, it definitely is possible that we can see something like the Dragon Drone be comprised of several monster units but it would need a central control system. And it would likely be based off a reinforcement system like the MIT Cheetah. It is very interesting to see where this technology is going. We already know that swarm drones have the capability to communicate with each other and fly through wooded forests. But the next generation could very well combine and then manipulate an object or even lift a heavier payload. DJI has definitely set the bar with the Flycart 30. It has a 66 payload pound capacity along with a winch system, so the drone can deliver cargo down to remote locations. But we could look at this with a different perspective, and at a smaller scale, this may be possible with modular drone technology. I definitely think that modular drones are going to be the future of drone technology because combined with reinforcement learning you can have very complex aerial vehicles which can be trained and be able to analyze the best assembly to perform that task. 
You could also have a swarm integration where the individual drones can disperse and then analyze the environment and collect more advanced information. If it can assemble again and then pick up cargo or manipulate an object, then this could be a very incredible system. Truly, I don't think we are very far off from this type of modular drone capability. And it's going to be very fascinating to see what is developed in the next five years. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.